What's going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of The Coach Malik Show. Today, I'm going to share with you how I structure my and my clients' workouts. What's going on, guys? Malik. Welcome to The Coach Malik Show. My name is Malik Benin, and I am going to be your virtual coach. I'm going to give you the knowledge, the tips, and the advice to help you perform better in all aspects of your life. Before I go into any details on how I do this, you know, take what you want and, and do what's best for you. You know, do you. That's what I want to get across in all my content is that some stuff's going to work, some stuff's not. I just want to give you the tools to add to your toolbox. You choose it when you need it. All right. So this is how I structure them. I first off with my heaviest, you know, the, the workout that I'm going to be lifting the most, the exercise I'm going to be lifting the most weight. Here, it's dumbbell shoulder press. If you're doing chest day, it could be bench. If you're doing legs, it could be back squats or front squats or deadlifts. If you're doing back, it could be pull-ups, lap pull-downs. But I always start with my most compound movement, the movement that will be moving the most amount of weight, and that's the one I start with. That's number one. You can do three sets, four sets, five sets. If you're a beginner, I'd recommend three. If you're more advanced, I'd recommend more four or five. Then I move on to more of a, you know, you're still lifting a lot of weight. Now I move into more of the smaller type muscle groups, right? I'm not doing compound movements. Now we're working on more, you know, focused on a singular muscle, more isolation movements. You know, so for shoulders, I'm doing lateral raise. I really want to work on my, you know, side shoulder. So I'm doing lateral raises seated, right? So it's really focusing on the shoulders. There's no help with my legs. There's no barely any help with my core. It's really focusing on my side shoulders. And then I superset it again, because it's not so much weight. It's not as much as the first exercise. You're kind of able to do another exercise right after it, minimal rest to no rest. So I superset. Usually the second or by the third exercise, I'm already supersetting my workouts. First set, not always. Sometimes on back day, sometimes on shoulder day. But usually the first exercise is one exercise and then following that with the smaller exercises after that. Then I move on to rear delts. Now these are great to do because it's a small muscle, right? If you're working chest, it might be incline press. If you're working legs, it might be calves. It might be, you know, a single leg hamstring workout, a glute. Right, you're, these are the smaller muscles. Now we're getting to the fourth, fifth exercise, and we really want to dial in because we've worked the compounds. Now we've worked the, the, the medium sized muscles. Now we want to target the smaller muscles in that area. So I'm working shoulders, the rear delts are the smallest muscle. So that's what I do. I could also use a rear fly machine. I could also do these, you know, stand, with bent over. I don't necessarily need the seat, but that's what I do. Then I end my shoulder workout. I think I do push ups after this, a little body weight stuff, but I end my workout with a super circuit, all right? This could be two, three, four, or more exercises in a row. They're not hard. You could do this with core as well. This is, I do this a lot with core. You know, you get a little circuit of three or four exercises with core, and you do that two to three times. And that's what I'm doing with shoulders right now. So at the end of your workout, I always like to do, you know, for my goals at least, I'm trying to cut down. So I'm trying to get my heart rate up on the weight floor. A lot of people only get their heart rate up during cardio. I like to also get my heart rate up on the weight floor. So I go ahead and do super circuits. You know, I did the but I added in the steering wheel. So you want to do something to really burn out the muscle. And right here, I'm just ending it with triangle push-ups and push-ups, body weight. Again, just burning out the muscle. As you guys can kind of see, it was like a pyramid, right? You start off really heavy and then you kind of trickle down, you know, to lighter weights, lighter weights, smaller muscle movements, smaller muscle movements. And by the end of the workout, you know, your body or that muscle group is fully fatigued fully drained, you know, fully broken down so that when you recover, it can rebuild stronger. It can rebuild bigger, whatever is your goal. And that's how I structure my workouts and my clients' workouts for the goal of losing weight and cutting down. We are on the summer cut 2019 plan, aren't we, baby? So that's what I do. Hopefully that helped you guys. If it did, subscribe to the podcast or YouTube channel, wherever you're watching this. And I would really appreciate if you left a review or left a comment letting me know what your favorite part of this video was. And before I end this, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next clip. Guys, you do not leave dumbbells on the bench. That's the numero uno rule in gym etiquette. Oh. My birthday cake. Hey, please, bro. <laughs> Dry. <laughs> no, I'll do 
shooting so I could see where the camera is. I'm like, yeah, man. See? Your boy's gonna make fun of you. Can't see. Can't see. Huh? 12 and a half? They probably do. They get lost everywhere around. They're talking about it. They could be in the other room. You might have thought. You might have just thought it. You would just uh, download the CSV, upload it, and then um, yeah, let's hope they copy over. <laughs> let's go! Let's go! Yeah, I, I would put I'm like make them as short as you can. You know, through email, I thought this would be a lot easier. That's why I changed my phone number. You know, why haven't you logged in or, you know, have you cleared any workouts? If they have signed in and just haven't signed up, you'd be like, hey, like, um, I really wanted to communicate with, communicate with you more. But as long as they reply back. So... The fact that no one's doing it and nobody's really... Dude, that's, dude, that's the thing, bro. Like, that's the thing I'm, yeah. like, that's the thing I'm most excited about is that. <laughs> dude, we're gonna laugh at those. Dude, that San Diego drive was legendary. Yeah, we're on a roll. Huh? Two, two fifteen. I leave my house at two. So, right now, for the next forty-five minutes, I will. Clear the names. Do me a favor, do all you can for the next 45 minutes on the studio, and then I'm going to do my thing on it. Just replied to some messages right there after the call with Stevie. I just wanted to film that so you guys can see like what I do. So I want to kind of show you guys behind the scenes of literally what I do. Um, you know, we'll call, we'll figure out what we need to do. To and the, the reason I want to do this is because again, during these new videos is I want to just show more. I want to open up more um, and show you guys kind of like what I do. And uh, I think it'll bring a lot of insight to you guys. I think a lot of you guys will enjoy seeing it. A lot of you guys have been asking for it. So here it is. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you next clip. So, you got your shit in, in your raw folder. You created your Lightroom folder and you created your edited folder. Mm -hmm. So, you open your Lightroom mm -hmm. and you're going to create a new catalog. And this is where the organization comes in. So, you find your, your thing for the William Shatner shoot. So, create. Now that, that metadata is created <coughs> and it's creating a new catalog. And a. That's a good looking dude right there. What? Go, yeah, that guy right there is a good looking dude. Let's uh let's focus on that guy guys. Oh my camera's not focusing. Just some random fucking homeless person that stumbled into the shoot. Oh wow, that's a good looking homeless person, man. Holy shit. Wow. Where's his fucking bench? I wanna be sleeping under his bench. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to this guy. Oh, it's like not yellow at all. Let's see which one you uh, move the temp. Uh, so you want to move the temp to. Uh, and that's all preference, but like one 
mistake that a lot of like really early on photographers make is they think yellow pictures look good. Did you do the fucking hundred seconds? No. So when I was in. Oh, I'll show you that right now. Who's that hat? 